Hi there everyone, I'm Talha and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a payroll spreadsheet in Google Sheets. A payroll is the total compensation an employer pays to their employee. It accounts for the total hours worked, then calculates a gross pay and deducts tax, social security, insurance and other deductions from their gross pay to calculate a net pay. It can also contain employee name, pay period, payment date, and other information such as employee ID or any information relevant to an employee. If you wish to add other information to this spreadsheet, all you have to do is go here, right click and insert one column to the left. Then you can add any information that you deem relevant for your employee. You can also add extra deductions right here by going here, right clicking and inserting one column to the left to add any other deductions that you deem relevant. Now let's take a look at how you can create this spreadsheet for your own. First of all, you have to create the headers. To create the headers, I'm just going to copy all of these headers into a new sheet right here and break the whole spreadsheet down to you. So. Once we've entered the headers, we're going to enter the payment date. We're going to enter a random date. And then we're going to enter the pay period, which is monthly. You can enter weekly, annual, or whatever you deem relevant. Then we're going to enter the employee name and the regular hours for that employee in a month, which are 160 the vacation hours which are zero in this case you can add whatever amount you deem necessary the personal hours we're going to enter as 12 and the total overtime hours are going to be 10 the total regular pay will be 3500 and the total overtime pay will be a formula to multiply the total overtime hours with their overtime wage rate. In this case, it is 55, so we're going to enter 55 and press enter. For the reimbursements paid, you can enter whatever value that is relevant to your employee. In this case, we're going to enter nothing. For the cross pay, we're going to use a summation formula to sum up the total regular pay and the total overtime pay. Once we've summed up the total overtime pay and the total regular pay, we're going to move on to reducing, deducting taxes from the total gross pay. So for the tax, we're going to enter 0.24 since their tax is 24%, the value can be anything that is relevant to your employee. In this case, we're just using a placeholder value. Once we've entered 0.24, we're going to format this as percentage and then enter random values for the social security. You can always enter relevant values to your employee. In this case, these are just placeholder values. Next, we're going to use a series of different values such as adding and subtracting to calculate the total debt pay. First, we're going to subtract the tax from our gross pay, which is going to be M3 minus, and in brackets right here, we're going to multiply the gross pay with the tax and then we're going to subtract minus sum we're going to subtract social security insurance and other deductions from the value that we get here let's add this to a bracket to make it more visually appealing 
Now once we've done that, we're going to press enter and that is the total net pay. Now let's take a look at the formula. This is M3 minus 24% of their gross pay and then minus a sum of O3 to Q3 which is the social security, insurance and other deductions. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please leave a like and subscribe.